Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to download Python 3.5.2, that version of Python, and the Pygame, and Pygame for that version. Um, I uninstalled Python, so type in idle. It's uninstalled on my computer, so it'll be more similar to what you'll experience when doing this tutorial. And the first step to download Python version 3.5.2 is, I prepared this slide, uh, this window already, but to click this link, and I'll include both of these links, everything that will be needed um, for this tutorial in the description. I'll probably um, annotate them as well, but you'll click this first link. This is the official website to download Python. You'll scroll down, you'll find the multiple versions and obviously we want 3.5.2 so you go to the side and click download and once you're here you scroll down go to files and you choose the very bottom option which is Windows X86 web-based installer click this it'll download previously what I X'd out that was my other downloads because I've done this a couple times but anyways so you drag this to your desktop, and that number won't be there unless you download it multiple times, which obviously you will not have. And you drag it to your desktop and double click it, and this will come up. And now you can either install, install now, or go to customization, customize installation options. And uh, don't worry about any of this. Um, if you do go to this and continue, you can choose the area where you install the version of Python. Um, I recommend that you don't tamper with anything because Python is rather small. It doesn't take up much space, so there isn't much uh, use to downloading it to somewhere else. But when you download it to a different location, it is um, kind of more difficult to access it and locate the files itself. So I just recommend clicking install now. So just wait for it to install, this won't take very long. And setup was successful, okay. Now you can close this, and I recommend you hold on to this installer, because if you do double click it again, you have all these options to modify, repair, and uninstall which will be useful for the future, so I recommend you keep this. My audio is kind of low, so you probably have to turn up the sound, so for headphone users, um, warning, I'll have to cancel, and then a loud noise will happen, so just beware. That's just canceling it. So I, I recommend you save it somewhere, add it to a file, whatever, or a folder, whatever. So put to the side, now, now you have successfully downloaded Python 3.5.2 and you have the shell and everything. So next step, you can close that window, will be downloading the WH file for Pygame. So now you click, ooh, the uh, GAN went down because this great program called f.lux. Anyways, that's irrelevant, but, oh, maybe that won't be nice to the eyes. Well, whatever. So the next step, I digress. The next step will be clicking this link. And what you'll find is this huge page of a bunch of different WH files and a bunch of confusing, huge confusing mess. Uh, don't worry about it. You don't need to strenuously go through every single line and find the right, uh, find the right file. All you need to do, assuming you're using Chrome, is click this, click on find, I already typed it in, but I'll delete it anyways, and type in Pygame, this is finding words that are on the site, and you'll find that it highlights any options that occur, you'll see that it highlighted on the scroll bar, so you could actually scroll to it, but assuming you want to do that, just hit enter, and it'll come to this area right here and now you have these multiple different versions for Pygame and there's CP 
27, 27, 27, 27, 34, multiple different versions. What you, since you downloaded 3.4, 3.5.2, make sure to click 1.9.3, CP35, CP35, Windows 32, WHL. Don't, I don't, I'm not sure, perhaps this would work, but this is what I've used and this is what works. So click on this, it'll download. It's very small, shouldn't take very long. Once it's finished downloading, just drag it to the desktop. And I downloaded this multiple times. That won't be the case for you, so I'm just going to rename it so everything works because it won't work with this uh, five in there because it's a very case sensitive specific, not case sensitive, it's very um, specific towards a name as to what it is for the later process, which I will describe. So now you have your WH file, you have Python installed, you close this page. I don't know why that sound happened, sorry if you turn your head, your sound back up. You can close that page, and now the next step will be going into your file explorer, going to your local disk C, this is where you downloaded um, Python 3.5.2, gonna search Python, Python 35-32, search for that, it'll say working on it, it may take a little while, don't worry, it'll just take some time, just wait, and the first option which comes up, you can click on you can click on that, everything will be fine. Double click, and you come up to this page where you have the Python W, Python, all the essentials, which is within the Python 3.5.2, 3.5.2. And make sure not to drag this anywhere. Keep, keep that in there. Anyways, that's irrelevant. But now what you're going to find is the folder named scripts. So double click on scripts. I already have this in here from previously since I already have Pygame installed, but um, for the sake I'll just delete it. So this is what it'll look like. And now you're going to take your WH file that you just downloaded and drag it right into this, um, this scripts folder. And now with that in there, make sure this isn't highlighted. Make sure it's separate and not highlighted. You're going to right click. Well, if you right click, this comes up. Um, so make sure that's what's happening. But what you have to do is hold shift and then right click over this white area. And then a new option will come up. Open command window here. So make sure all that happened. Click open command window and this pops up. This may look confusing, but it's really simple what you have to type in. All you have to do is type in pip pip space install space and then pygame. And now you don't need to worry about typing in this whole wh file name. You can just press tab after writing that and it'll automatically write in the uh, wh file. Now once you finish doing that, have it exactly as that, PIP space install Pygame, and then tab, just click enter, and you will probably find um, this pip message where it's saying that your pip version is not the up-to-date or the latest version. It doesn't matter, as long as you have 8.1.1, um, you're fine, so you can ignore that, it doesn't matter. but. I already downloaded Pygame, so um, that's why this came up and there's no installation process. But after this, wait, don't, after you hit enter, don't just click away, just wait. Um, multiple messages will come up, further um, installation of uh, Pygame will show, and it'll say that it's like importing all these things. And at the end, yell text will show up again saying that the installation was successful. And at that point, at that point, you can click away once it says everything is done. And you can close this. And you have Python and Pygame uh, successfully installed for 3.5.2. Um, if you want to test that you have uh, Pygame, you can go 
to any uh, program, either whether it was one of your previous assignments or an assignment on the school computer, you can go to any of those programs, open it up, which uses Pygame, and edit with idle, and you run it, and if you get the Pygame window, you have successfully downloaded Python and Pygame onto your computer. Um, during the installation process where you had um, all those, you had the black screen where you typed in pip install, if you got a red message when you typed enter, um, either the, the versions were not the same, or something wasn't muck. If that happened, then just make sure that you followed all the other steps which occurred. If you did, I guess something weird happened, I'm not sure, but this should, this should work. Um, I've done this over and over and over again um, just to test how well it's worked and I have not had any issues. Um, so I hope this helped. Hope you're successful in downloading Python version 3.5.2 and Pygame. Thank you very much for watching, and yeah, thank you.